My name is Cheryl McCready, and once again, we're recording from the Arnold Job Center with another wonderful success story. And I've got with me today Dennis Amick, our success, as well as my coworker Michelle Anderson, because we worked on this person together, Dennis. Um, Dennis came to Arnold Job Center, and as usual, he performed all the necessary registration things such as Career Ready 101 and uh, updating his resume and mo jobs. It's kind of referred to me because I worked with the Boeing program before, the pre-employment training program, and someone had said that he was mechanically inclined and he may want to be or may be interested in that. So uh, we did a revamp of the resume together. Then I scheduled him for the work keys because you have to have certain scores for Boeing, as well as at some point we determined through his past employment that he was TRA eligible. He made an appointment with Michelle and he was looking at all his options, which is exactly what he just wanted to make sure he knew all of those. I found myself in a very difficult situation. I had worked at the same employer for 27 years and my plant shut down. They relocated to Georgia. So after not looking for a job in 27 years, I was kind of out of touch. <laughs> It had been a long time, so I came to the Career Center, which I was familiar with from a previous layoff at my other employer. I had come here and been give, given an overview of the services that were provided. So when I did lose my job, I thought, I'm going to go back down to the Arnold Career Center, and they're going to help me. I was determined. So like Cheryl said, I did. I registered and everything, and I did my own resume, which was probably not... I did the best I could, and I was not really getting a lot of responses. So as Cheryl said, the Boeing program came up, and I signed up for the work keys, which was the first step, and then Cheryl redid my resume. I took the work keys, and I scored in two categories what I needed to score, and in the third category I had just missed, so that's when Michelle came in. Also, we had the TRA appointment scheduled. So Michelle came in and gave me study guides to get that third score mm -hmm. up to, to the gold status that I would need for Boeing. So I studied and then they also quickly got me that test to take that third category. Mm -hmm. And I did take the third category and I got the score that I needed. So as Cheryl said, the Boeing thing didn't quite work out. But after we changed the resume, I started getting hits on my resume. So at that point, I was getting a good response from the new resume, which at that point, it's, since everything's online now, the new resume I had applied at a company and I hadn't heard anything. And it was the company that I really wanted to work for. So in the meantime, I met with Michelle. We went over the TRA while this resume was still out there and we looked at the chemical field and the job rate. And the labor market at the time was negative 11% going from the period 2014 to 2024. It did not look good. So we researched many programs on ONET and ETPS and we came up with HVAC. Yes. So and I started went to Jefferson College. I started the enrollment process at Jefferson College through we were going to go through the TRA. And in the meantime, this opportunity came along. As I said, I had taken the the pretest at Jefferson College and talked to a counselor. Well, I got the phone call from the company and it's a it was the opportunity of a lifetime. So we kind of put the TRA on hold and I went to the interview. And I think with, with all the options, I also had another offer from Jost Chemicals. So having the TRA, the schooling, two offers, when I went to this interview, I was relaxed and confident. confident. It helped me because I knew that I had other opportunities and things had gone so well at the Career Center that I think it relaxed me. And it came across in the interview. And the best part is I, the competition was ex very tough for this job. And they took two weeks. They took two weeks of interviews 
So I don't know how many people that would be, but it was a lot of people. During my interview, the employer was extremely interested. Absolutely. And I noticed them as they were going through my paperwork, they looked at the resume first, and a couple, I was interviewed by four people, and two of them asked exactly what the work keys was, and I could see them looking at the paperwork, and it got their attention that I had gone through the process of taking that testing and I, like I said, the competition was tough for this job and I think the thing that may have put me over the top was with them being able to see right. that I had, had the aptitude level, and I skill guess. to pick up a job. And as of, this is your fifth week and so as of the fourth week, he got a pay raise of $3.50 an hour. Oh, and also... Which brings you to how much an hour? $28 an hour. So this job, not only did I lose my job of 27 years, the starting pay rate before the raise was actually more than what I was making at my previous job. And now, as Michelle said, after four weeks, they gave me another $3.50. So as appreciative as I am for the TRA, this is possibly, or it is, a better opportunity Absolutely. than going through Absolutely. school. I'm going to Absolutely. probably... You found a suitable employment. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a better opportunity than actually going through the schooling. So, it's worked out great. It's incredible. I did not ever think, you, uh, you know, when you lose something like that, that you have, you don't think that you're going to get better. And but, I owe it mostly but, to the Career Center. But Dennis was an ideal participant candidate because he was open and receptive to, to all of job centers resources I mean he wanted it all and he absorbed it and he really really I mean he was is not a procrastinator he does what he says he's going to do and he it made him an ideal candidate after Cheryl redid his resume he still went on to go to the resume workshop because he wanted to know all there is to know and you know i can't say enough we got to cut the video otherwise i would go on and on about what a great candidate he was and what a great success story this is